his formula ready. Could you look after him for a couple of minutes? No worries. I won't be long. Going for a ride, little fella. <laughs> she handed him to me on a platter. <laughs> you're coming with your dad, aren't you, mate? Listen, are you sure you know what you're doing? You might be your son, but you're still kidnapping. If they want to arrest me, they're gonna have to catch me first. Well, the girl only left him for a few minutes to get his formula. Oh, we've got to find them, Mrs. Collins. Who was the other boy? Are you sure he was a friend of Kevin's? I didn't take any notice of him. Kevin didn't say he was with anyone. Well, it's obvious your husband's behind it, whether he took the child or the other boy. What am I going to do? I'll call our solicitors in Sydney and find out what your rights are. And your husband's. For all we know, what he's done's perfectly legal. But I want my baby back! All right, all right. I'll find out what the position is. But you got him. What are we going to do now? I don't know. Think of something. Well, I reckon you, you should ring your mum and dad. Oh, I don't reckon they'd be too pleased. They didn't want me to come after him in the first place. Could try John. I've got to think. Oh, afternoon, Fiona. Oh, Bert. <laughs> well, how are you? You've come after some lunch, huh? Come on in. Uh, no, 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 thanks. I'm on the move, actually. I thought I'd pop in, though. I know you must be a bit disappointed about Rosie's hopes run. Ah, oh, you're the trainer. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Well, let's hope, eh? <laughs> no, uh, the main reason was the, the draw. She drew badly, you see. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> don't forget she's the three-year-old. Uh -huh. Bit of a late developer. Now, come the spring, she'll fill out quite a bit. She'll be a much stronger horse. <laughs> Bert, you could tell me anything. I don't know the first thing about horses. Whatever you think's the best thing, you do it. Are you quite sure you haven't got time for a bite of lunch? No, no, no. True. Uh -huh. I'm headed up for Wyong. Down to her and a few other horses in the next meeting. Hey, listen. How about coming along next week, eh? Watch you run again. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> All right, I'll drop in later. A couple of tickets for the members. Eh? Good. I'll be home. It's nice to deal with an owner. Who doesn't think she knows more about train horses than I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm quite happy just to back them. Thank you. <laughs> See you about five? Yes, fine. Now, you take care in the traffic. Uh, you know, I could always pick those tickets up later. No worries. No. <laughs> Bye. I'll go in this afternoon and talk to Ted Morgan. I think you should just make a clean break. I'll get it. It's only right to do the correct thing, handing over the reins to Coleman. I don't think you should hand the reins over to anybody, but since Patricia forced it, I think you should let them stew in their own juice. There is a small matter of ethics. It didn't seem to worry Patricia. I might take my lunch out by the pool, leave you to it. But darling, we're not arguing, it's just my opinion. Nothing to do with me. I'd rather sit in the sun anyway. You were fine about it earlier. Why are you getting picky now? I've been thinking about the month's notice. I don't think they deserve that consideration. As I said, it's ethical. Well, two weeks would have been just as ethical. Wouldn't you rather be getting on with a job elsewhere instead of wasting your time training a man you know damn well isn't up to the job anyway? I've heard you talk about him, Gordon. I know what you think of him. Let's just enjoy our meal, shall we? I am entitled to an opinion. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling in a very snappy mood and I don't know why. Hi. <clears throat> I'll never guess who that was. Doug, Doug Palmer. Palmer. How did you know? By the look on your face. Oh, he's just called through on his way back to Melbourne. I said I'd meet him in the city. We thought we could get the hydrofoil over to Manly and visit Fiona. Give her a surprise. That's if it's all right with you. Yes, of course. Enjoy yourselves. Say hello for me. <laughs> Thank you. And we won't carry on our conversation, right? Right?
No go? No, uh, John's sitting some entrance exam for the Air Force. I don't know what to do now. There's my dad. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, he'd be in standing us a couple of tickets back home. Yeah. Don't suppose there's much choice left, is there? Yeah, he'll be in it. You wait. Oh, but Kev, there's, there's something you'd better do first. Oh, no. We haven't got any nappies. Yeah, and I, I don't think my handkerchief would be any good. No, no, no. He'd be your father, right? 